Hello everyone and welcome back from break. I hope you all had a relaxing break and had lots of fun times. We are going to jump right back into things and our lesson today is going to be on goal setting. So as you all know, we are now in a new year. We are in 2021 and hopefully it will be a little less crazy than 2020 was. How many of you have ever heard of the term New Year's resolution before? So typically at the turn of the new year, so January 1st, a lot of times people use this as an opportunity to set a goal for themselves um, on something that they would like to change. So they reflect on their last year and think what they would like to change, or maybe there's even something new that they would like to learn or try. So we are going to be learning about goal setting today. So a goal is something that you really want to accomplish. Goals usually require a lot of effort and hard work to achieve. So I want you to think about a time that you worked really hard on something. Maybe it was something new you wanted to learn, like how to do a cartwheel. Or maybe it was something you wanted to improve, like instead of getting C's on your tests, you wanted to get A's and B's. So a goal is something that is meaningful to us. It's something that we really want to do, and it is something that takes a lot of hard work. So we are going to watch a funny little video of a pig named Ormy who goes to great lengths to try to achieve his goal. So we're going to watch this and then we'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. It always makes me laugh. Um, now, despite many setbacks and failed attempts, Ormy continued trying. Now, that's not to say he didn't get frustrated. So I have a couple um, clips here from the video, and I want you guys to think about how he might be feeling in each picture. So here, this was at the beginning of the video. First of all, he's probably feeling very cold. But secondly, he's probably starting to feel a little bit discouraged. This picture is right after he built that staircase out of cardboard boxes. And you can tell he's doing a little happy dance and he was so excited. He thought that he was about to get the cookies from the cookie jar, but unfortunately the boxes collapsed on him. Right here is where he starts to get angry. He has tried and tried and tried and he has still not been able to get the cookies. But the important thing about Ormy is he keeps trying. Now here, we think we're about to have a happy ending because the cookies fall down on his head and he gets one. But unfortunately, the cookie jar falls on his head. Even though he had a lot of difficulty reaching the cookies, did he give up? Do you think he ever thought about quitting? I think he probably would have definitely thought about quitting. He was getting very frustrated, but he kept on going even though it was hard. That's called perseverance. Now, using what you know about Ormy's character, do you think he gave up even when the jar fell on his head? I'm willing to bet that judging by Ormy's character and how hard he tried and persevered, that he was able to find a way to get the jar off of his head and enjoy those cookies that he worked so hard to get. The lesson here from Ormy is that there will be things in life that are very difficult, but it's really, really important to not give up. So when it comes to making and planning goals, do you think it's easier to achieve something if you break it down into small parts and work your way up? That's absolutely true. If you have a plan and specific steps to follow, you're much more likely to succeed. So we are going to practice and just like Ormy built this little staircase out of cardboard boxes, we are going to set a goal for ourselves and make our own kind of goal setting staircase. So first, I need you to decide what goal it is you want to achieve. And then the next thing you need to do is list the steps you will take to reach your goal. Because each goal that we set, we have to have a way of achieving it. We can't just say we want to make all A's on every test ever, but not put in the work to get there. 
So we'll do an example together. So if my goal is to make an A on my test, my first step is to plan ahead, right? Because first I need to know when the test is and how many days I have to study. I need to make sure I'm doing all of my homework. I need to ask for help if I don't understand something. And I need to study every night for a week before the test. Now, if I do all of those things, if I do my homework, I plan ahead, I ask for help from my teacher. Don't mind my typo here. It happens to everybody. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> and if I study every night for a week, there's a good chance I'm going to make a good grade, possibly even an A on my test. So it is now your turn. So I want you to practice goal setting. So step one, think of a goal that you want to work towards. It shouldn't be too easy, and it also shouldn't be too hard. You have to make sure it's realistic. Step two, think of all the things you need to do in order to accomplish your goal. And step three, write them down and decorate your goal setting staircase. So I want you all to draw a goal setting staircase. So draw four little boxes as if it was a staircase. Write down the steps to achieve your goal and write the goal on the top of your paper. Now you can decorate it when you're done and hang it somewhere important that you will see often to remind you of your goal. Thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to fill out the Google form and I will see you next week.